Wait. This is crap. Give me a second. Now we're talking, baby. Hey! So, lately I've been wondering, how do people make things like this or this? Are they some kind of mystical beings or they belong to a cult? Well, apparently they call themselves visual development artists. So, can I be one? I don't have an art degree. Well, because I... I didn't want it. But that's not going to stop me. Maybe the lack of talent. But we try it anyway, right? Because that's what we do here. We try. And as I read somewhere, art is like pee, everyone has their own style. So in this video, we are going to answer the question, would someone draw as good as a visual development artist in 20 minutes of tutorial? Well, spoiler alert, of course not. Come on, these people are professionals. But can we at least get close? Well, you'll be the judge of that. Comment below at the end of the video. And what is visual development, you may ask? Well, give, give me a second. The broad term visual development appears in a wide variety of contexts. This boring. means that... Boring. Basically are those pretty draws that define the final look of a movie, TV program or video game. So today we are doing a piece of art for Klaus. A movie released in November 2019. Easy means before COVID. Now remember, this is not a tutorial, basically because the Spy Studios channel already has one. I'm leaving a link to that in the description, right below to the like button, you know, in case you wanna like it. This is most like a speed paint, like that scene from Titanic, but with less boobies. But why did I choose Klaus? Well, because I won it, basically. And if you already watched the movie, you'll agree with me that it's a freaking beautiful movie. And yeah, this is 2D, not 3D, my friend. Believe me, I researched a lot. And what I found on the internet was, well, kitties. And lately, a lot of adults playing with Pokemon cards. I'm wondering if I should do that too. Let me know in the comments if I should jump on the Pokemon train. Or should I say, the Pokemon retirement train, <laughs> you know, because they're old. Anyway, this is what I found about how they made the movie. The good news is that the animation was done with traditional 2D animation techniques. That's good. The bad news is that the lining was done with an exclusive Spa Studio software. That's bad. But the good news is that all the backgrounds were made with traditional digital painting techniques. That's good. The bad news is that the backgrounds contain potassium benzoid. Can I go now? The good news is that I found a tutorial about how to paint in Klaus style. And well, that was a W. Link in the description. So before we apply color, we need a sketch. And what is a sketch is? Nothing more than a horrible draw that you have spent many hours until it looks decent. So as you have seen, after a lot of time of sketching and cleaning, we ended up with this. And we're ready for color. We start with the values of the composition, or at least that's how the guy called it in the tutorial. Why blue? I don't know, he used blue so I just wanted to be popular. Then we continue with color base, and some details to the house. Then we apply some lining, some shading and textures. And after a lot of time and sweat and a lot of layers. What? Um, 
it's fake, okay? It's fake. The Photoshop frame is fake. Stupid Adobe with your expensive plans. So as I said, after a lot of time, we finished the painting. What do you think? Pretty decent, right? I think Spa Studios could use this for a shot. Why not? In fact, give me a second. Um, that, that's it, that, that's all I did. Leave me alone, it took me like a month. I don't even know why I put a butterfly in a winter storm. Maybe she died. So, sorry all the butterfly lovers out there. However, I don't know about you guys, but I think we made it. We visual development for clouds. That is going to go right into my resume. And if I can do it without a degree, you can do it too. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what do you think about the final piece. Don't forget to check out my lonely Twitter, my forgotten Twitch, my cringe TikTok, and my sexy Instagram. And because I don't know how to end the video, let me finish with this reflection. Kids, life is like poop.